Scorpio, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be a reading directed to singles. These are independent. All right, hopefully those that are bachelors and, you know, doing good for themselves. But, you know, these stories tend to pick up on people that are going through some atrocious energies. Nevertheless, whatever I pick up on is going to be a potent message. There's going to be something, some sort of wisdom for someone to take from. So, hang tight. If you're single, if you don't... If you maybe got a new lover in mind, or maybe you are just getting over someone and moving past something, this message is going to be for you. What's going on with the singles, the independents, those that are not in a commitment? What's going on with those Scorpios during this time of late October as we are approaching your season, ladies and gents? Let's get two more shovels. What is the overall energy here for Scorpio? All right, ladies and gents, what's going on? King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Six of Cups. Ooh, energy of the past is what I'm saying here. The justice, Libra and energy. I was thinking about Libra as I was shuffling for you since we're in October. Nevertheless, Three of Cups, what's going on here? Seems as if there's going to be a reconciliation, to be frank. Or there's going to be some sort of union. It doesn't have to be a reconciliation, but it seems as if you're dealing with a relationship in which has been existence, all right, or it's got some history to it. It's got some history to it, and it's coming forward, and it's going to balance out, ladies and gents. Not only is it balancing out, it's moving towards a real, real celebratory energy. Oh, wow, check that out. Five, five, five on the clock. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, you can't see it. But anyways, lucky you. It is Wednesday, October 23rd, 5, 5, 5 p.m. in Dubai. All right? I just need to put that phone on airplane mode because we don't want any interruptions. Let's see what's going on here with the six of cups six of coins six six ladies and gents look this situation this i'm picking up on a situation in which there might have been separation or isolation and just there was distance between you and someone doesn't have to be difficult or catastrophic or negative but um there was an element of stagnancy in regards to things picking up all right or things moving so despite the fact that there could have been distance between you and somebody there was never a sense of real abandonment of the connection on both ends. And, you know, there was a lot of reminiscing going on there. You guys did have each other in your mind. And it seems as if now there's a, there's a moment of reconciling, of coming together after some sort of uh, time. Okay. There's a transformation ensuing. Tell me more about this element of reciprocity here that I'm seeing for Scorpio. Two of coins. I mean, two of wands. Wow, ladies and gents. So you guys are going to be faced with the dilemma of where is this going to go? Where is this going to go? Tell me more about this two of wands, king of swords. I get the sense that either you or your person, Scorpio, are not going to be too inclined to open up emotionally. All right? Initially. Initially. This could change. I mean, I'm seeing the progress. I see reunion taking place and then an element of balance with the justice. And then the three of cups, which is, you know, you could be going out with this individual, having a good time, all right, enjoying drinks, so on and so forth, or just going out on dates. That's really what it looks like to me. So things are bound to escalate. What's going on here with the justice? Why is the justice here? What's going on here with the justice energy? The sun card. Wow. This looks like a blessing, to be frank. It just, it looks very, very positive. Whatever's happening here in this relationship that seems to be coming back around for you, Scorpio, or that you seem to be going back around to Scorpio, since I keep getting this Knight of Cups, we're going to be looking at your energy and the energy of whomever it is that you're dealing with. Nevertheless, there's a lot of happiness that's coming about in this connection, guys. Nine of Wands. Hmm, a little bit of wounds there. What happened here? What is this Nine of Wands about? The Judgment. Okay, so there was most certainly a, an element of falling out with this individual at some point. But I feel that, you know, the lessons and the, the lessons were learned and perspectives, greater perspectives were attained in this situation that essentially rose you guys above the conflict. All right. In other words, whatever conflict happened here was petty in relations to the significance of the connection. I know some of you are like, oh, you think that's petty? That's not petty. This and that. I don't give a fuck what it was, but it looks petty compared to the resurrection, to the vitalization all right, to the invigoration that I am currently seeing. So to petty or not, your pettiness is subjective. All right. Anyways, what's going on here with the Three of Cups? 
What's going on with the Three of Cups? The Six of Wands. This is success, ladies and gents. I mean, this is a situation in which there's a lot of attention being given to one another back and forth. And, <clears throat> wow. Let's take a look. Excuse me for a second. I need to turn on the goddamn AC because last thing, last thing you want is, is to see me, see me sweaty. All right, because then I start taking my clothes off and we don't want to hurt no Tinkerbells here. You know what I mean? Let's see what's going on. Anyways, one this one time here, I was uh, it was hot as hell. I got out of a real hot shower, steamy shower, and I went straight in to do the Libra reading. And I'm in the middle of the reading, and I got the AC blasting, and I'm dripping sweat. And I'm like, guys, I just got what it is, what it is. Boom! And I, I had to take off my shirt because I was just way too hot. It was too hot. I was literally dripping sweat, and I'm trying to avoid catastrophes like that. So anyways, what's going on here? There's a lot of attention given, all right, to one another. There's a lot, there's a lot of celebration here. All right, why is the two of wands here? The two of wands, this is an element of effort, diligence, effort being put forth to keep something intact or in balance. All right, okay, so there's most certainly certain obstacles. Scorpio, I get the sense that it could be within you. I feel that you could be relinquishing certain perspectives or past ordeals that are impeding the pro the prosperity of the relationship. So let's just say you got back together or you're getting back together with someone from the past or you're commuting with someone from the past, right? And things are good. This is definitely not some sort of atrocious ex of yours. This is simply, I mean, it could be a past friend that's returning or, you know, a past fling that's returning or flame rather. And, you know, you're just trying to work, work through the situation. Things are going very well. Things are feeling good. And whatever little hiccups, whatever sort of tweaks you must do, you're actually, you know, keeping somewhat under the rug, you're not allowing it to really come up to the surface, but there is an element of something that you gotta move on from in order for this situation to really prosper, all right? This could be your energy or the person that, that you're dealing with. We're gonna find out who's who in just a moment. Let's see what's going on here. What's going on with Scorpio's energy towards their person? What's going on with Scorpio's energy towards their person? All of a sudden, I look blue and dark. Let me see. <clears throat> so, buddy, how are you doing there? We're up close and personal. All right. <clears throat> What's going on? All right. There, I look better, I guess. What's going on with Scorpio? Talk to me about Scorpio's energy towards their person. What's going on with Scorpio's energy towards their person? <clears throat> What's going on with Scorpio's energy towards the person? Let's get two more and shuffle. One and two. What energy is a single Scorpio? Oof. I need a few more shuffles, ladies and gents. Excuse the technical difficulties. One, what is the Scorpio's energy? I'm tuning in to what is their energy towards the person? King of Cups, the Sun, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Cups. So, Scorpio, to be frank, I see you quite happy. I see you quite happy engaging with whomever it is that's coming towards you. I feel that you do have a lot of feelings for this person. I feel that you are in a position where you're willing to invest into something that is worthy. So if this individual is, you know, is worthy, let's just say worthy, or worthy is not a good term, but all right, let's just go with it anyways. So if this individual is worthy enough of a relationship, or rather if they present something worthy enough of a relationship, I see you taking it. I see you taking it. All right. But I see that as underlying energy. What I'm seeing is that you're happy that you're content with sharing your time your energy with this person but you're still keeping independent from this you're not necessarily going into a relationship with this person although you would if the right offer was made all right ace of coins but as of now it seems that things are a bit surface level in regards to things just being a good time all right it's not that serious it's not that serious Sun card. What is the sun about? What is the sun about for Scorpio? Knight of Coins. This is, I mean, you're, you're steadily seeing progress or there's an element of progress in this situation. It's moving progressively and it's moving towards something substantial and you feel the energy building. You feel where, the, where this is heading and it seems like it's heading towards something substantial. Where is this heading? Where is this heading? Ten of Cups. Where is this fucking heading? The Ten of Cups. I'm telling you, you feel this, but let's not get ahead of ourselves, right? I really feel that this situation's in an infant base, hence page of coins. 
Knight of Coins, it's in a very infant phase where there's still a lot more room to develop. All right, so let's not get too excited, ladies and gents. I know I'm gonna be getting these comments. Oh my God, this is my twin flame. We're destined to be together, this and that. And then next week, you guys are gonna fucking break up. All right, so please take a chill pill, people. Take a chill pill. Enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride. Let's see, what's going on with this high priestess? This is your energy. What's going on with the high priestess? This is secretive energy here. Ooh, the tower. God damn. You are keeping something in the wraps. What's going on? You must be fucking excited, don't you? I know, look, this is what I see happening. I feel that you're getting all up in your feelings. You're getting real excited. You're ready to build. You're ready to do something drastic when it comes to your love life, a hierophant, possibly getting into a commitment. But you don't want to just expose that. You don't want to expose that just yet. You don't want strength card. There you go, at the bottom of the deck. Refraining from giving into it. But let's keep it real. You... I feel like, all right, some of you guys are definitely going to be sleeping with this individual during this time, during late October. You guys are going to be getting it on. All right, I'm seeing a lot of heat, a lot of passion, king of wands, the sun, knight of wands. Sexual energy here is what I'm picking up with that tower. All right, ladies and gents. And then again, it's Halloween. You guys may get a little freaky. All right, it is, it is that time of the year. Okay? It is that time of the year. We're like rabbits. We don't got a fucking mating season. We, just, we fuck all year long, don't we? Some of us do. Anyways. I see that you're very, very excited about this, Scorpio. You're very excited about this. What's going on here with the Nine of Cups? <clears throat> nine, of, nine of Swords. What the? What? Nine of Swords? This is stress. What's going on here with this stress, ladies and gents? The Moon Energy? All right. Now the fears are creeping in. Insecurities are creeping in. What's going on? Why is it? Why is it? Don't tell me. Eight of Coins. The Lovers. Scorpio, I already get the sense that, look at the lovers of three of coins. Look, you're going to be stressing out about the situation, ladies and gents. And let me tell you, you really don't have something to stress about when it comes to this. So long that you remain detached, so long that you remain independent from this. There's no need to rush this. There's no need to really move this quickly, Scorpio. All right, to the full energy, go with the flow. Go with the flow, ladies and gents. Go with the flow of the situation. It seems cool. It's, well, let's see. We're going to look into your person. Let's see, let's see what, what they got up their sleeve. I need to turn down the goddamn temperature. Excuse the technical difficulties. All right. I was at 25 Celsius. Now I'm at 21 and a half. I'm still too hot. 25 is pretty high, huh? Because I, I leave that AC on and this fucking, this place turns into a refrigerator. And then I gotta be walking around with a sweater and go outside in this barren heat desert. I mean, barren desert heat. You know what I mean? So it's kinda, I gotta find that balance, ladies and gents. What's going on with Scorpio's person? What's going on with Scorpio's person? What's going on with Scorpio's body? What's going on with Scorpio's body? We <clears throat> get two more shuffles. What energy is this individual projecting towards Scorpio? Whoever it is, that Scorpio is dealing with. Oof, the Empress is trying to get knocked up by Scorpio. I see. I'm kidding, guys. Okay, don't get excited. Here. The Magician, the Ace of Coins. Damn, the King of Cups, the Empress, the Magician, the King of the Ace of Coins, and the King of Cups. Well, goddamn, somebody here is definitely trying to slide in there. Trying to slide it in your heart. Let's just say that. Four of Wands. Could want a commitment. You two fancy each other. Look, I'm not British, but fancy, that word fancy, fits. All right? You two fancy each other. All right? The Magician. What does this individual got up their sleeve? What are they trying to work up here? The Ace of Cups. I knew it. They're trying to make something happen here. They want a new beginning with Scorpio. Flat out. This is a very positive reading, guys. This is a very positive reading. All right? Talk to me some more. Yeah, so Scorpio, whatever the hell happened here, I feel I'm telling you, they, they went through an element of stagnancy, okay? There was a, a phase of a stalemate, a stalemate phase. And this individual just doesn't want this to be a lost opportunity, flat out. They don't want it to be a lost opportunity. And sure enough, they're taking initiative, magician, making shit work, or putting them at, putting themselves to work to make this happen. So this, this is initiatory energy, this is action, Orientated energy. Ace of coins. This is that offer coming forward. Offer of what? 
Ace of Swords? Are you kidding me? We got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Coins, and the Ace of Swords. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Talk to me about these Aces. You know what? I don't even want to look into this shit. I already know what it is. So what it is, look at, we had the King of Wands. Remember I was talking about some horny energy? You guys getting it on? Now we got the Queen of Wands. Go figure. So, Scorpio, somebody here wants to woo you. Flat out. Somebody here wants to woo you. They are coming forward. They're opening up the lines of communication. I feel that they're going to tell you what you want to hear. I feel that they want to offer you something substantial. If you want to just have a good time, they'll offer you that as well. If you just want to go out and drink and have dates, they're down for that too. What do you want, Scorpio? I want to give it to you. What do you want? That's what. That's the sort of energy that I see this person on. What does Scorpio want? I like that. I mean, this individual likes you. I like that. You know what I mean? I like this individual's energy, Scorpio. There's, there's. I'll be reading for clients sometimes, and then I'm like, I'll tell my clients straight up. I'm like, damn, I don't really like this person that you're dealing with. And they'll start laughing. They're like, ah. Anyways. I like them, Scorpio. Whomever it is that you're dealing with, single Scorpios, all right? I know I got some, some Scorpios that aren't, that are dealing with something. But anyways, let's see. What's going on with the King of Cups and the Four of Wands, Four of Swords? So, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Why, why am I getting a sense that Scorpio might be a bit hesitant? Is this what you're telling me? Scorpio's a bit hesitant in regards to the situation? Scorpio's a bit hesitant. No, I'm not seeing Scorpio hesitant. Okay, so, all right, I, I, I can't. Yeah, so this individual is being patient, all right? That's what I'm seeing here. It's not you, you're not being hesitant. I'm not seeing any hesitancy from you. What I am seeing actually is them being patient. They're taking their time. They don't want to rush into this. Although they're bringing a lot to the table, I feel, when it comes to having a new beginning, when it comes to having a turn of events, Scorpio. All right, but they're wanting, they're down to take their town. They're down to take their time. All right, this individual is not in a rush. They're definitely invested. How invested is this individual in Scorpio? How invested? Oof, four, four of wands. Are you kidding me? This individual wants marriage. God damn. I mean, how invested are they? This individual wants to go the distance, Scorpio. Anyways, ladies and gents. I'm going to leave this here. Your week looks extraordinarily well, all right? I'm taking this to the extended where I'm going to continue to dive into your person. So I'm just going to read your person. I'm not going to be reading you. I'm going to read your person. I'm going to look into their, I'm going to look into their perception of you, their view of you. I'm going to look into their future vision of the relationship with you. How do they envision the future with you? I'm going to look into their actions towards you during this late time of the month. And I want to look into those aces. What, what's going on with all this new beginning here? Where is this actually going to go? Where is this going to go in the month of November is what I'm going to look into. If you're interested, the link, will that, the link for that will be in the description. Otherwise, Scorpio, it's a pleasure connecting with you guys as usual. I'm happy to be giving you guys love once again. All right? I know I, I didn't do uh, readings for you guys for quite some time. And I'm back on routine. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time.